everyone, it's that time again, my top 10 fall niche of 2016. I gave you guys the top 10 designer just about a week ago. Let's go with the niche. Just, just a quick reminder, these are my picks. These fragrances work perfectly for my environment and my surroundings. You might want to try them, feel free. I don't know if they'll work for you, but they sure as hell work for me. Let's go. At number 10 from the house of Tom Four, this is Vert de Bois. So I'm just happy to say welcome back Mr. Ford. Yes, he's back at it again. This was love at first sniff. I'm so happy with this Vert line. I haven't really spent much time with the other offerings. This one here, I've had it for about a week's time. Hence the fact that it's low on my top 10, but definitely one that I'm gonna be re reaching out a lot this fall and in the upcoming cooler months of the year. This has an amazing plum note, which I love in fragrances. Uh, very resinous, very opulent. Uh, there are some anise here. And the gorgeous roasted tonka beans as well at the dry down. There's gonna be a full-fledged first impression video probably released next week on this fragrance. So at number 10, Vert de Bois by Private Blend Tom Ford. From the house of Bois 1920, this is Sushi Imperial. This is a really gorgeous scent. Uh, if you like uh, Perfume Aromas Confetto, you'll really enjoy this. To me, this is fall in the bottle. This is an oriental spicy that has a lot of cinnamon in here. A gorgeous rose vanilla bourbon kind of accord. This is really, really intriguing and great scent for fall cooler days. Uh, really one that I love to reach out. Uh, it gives you like a really nice feel good, cozy kind of feeling. So Sushi Imperial at number nine. At number eight, from the house of Creed, this is Royal Oud. So this is a creamy, uh, very sophisticated take on Oud. Uh, the Oud here is very um, subdued, it's in the background, very easy to wear, easy to please. This one has an universal appeal. Um, I can't see this being an offensive fragrance. It's one that's gonna garner a lot of compliments. If you're getting into the frag game and you wanna get into Oud fragrance, this is definitely a great one to, to start off with. Um, can't emphasize how much I love this fragrance. One of my favorites from the House of Creed for the fall, none other than Royal Oud Millicene. Give it a shot if you haven't. I'm sure you have. This is a staple in my rotation in the fall. And number seven from the House of Bun number nine, none other than Andy Warhol. This is another one um, here that if it wasn't discontinued, it's getting harder and harder to find. This would have been a lot higher on my countdown, but this is a plum vanilla oud with some woods in the background kind of fragrance. Really resinous, really opulent, amazing for compliments. This is arguably one of my favorites from the house of Bond number nine at number seven. Coming up at number six from the house of Parfums de Marley, this is Pegasus. Now Pegasus is a gorgeous take on the Oriental. If you like marzipan, if you like, um, you know, the, the, the almond cookie vibe, you know, that you get with like Dior's uh, Hypnotic Poison, this one here takes it to the next level. This here is, you know, amazing. This is, you know, will last the whole day on your skin. You gotta be really careful with the trigger. This is atomic, you know, forget about beast mode. This is atomic mode, but it's one that ladies really love the scent and you're gonna get a lot of compliments and attention. So if that's what you're seeking, Pegasus is one of the great, great fragrances for that. I really, really enjoy this dress your occasions, going out at night when it's crisp outside. This is one that I really reach for, Pegasus at number six. At number five from the House of Olfactive Studio, this is Chambre Noir. Talking about plum, this is another plum-based fragrance. What an amazing leather fragrance. This is mysterious, it's sensual, it's one that garners compliments and I love wearing it. Again, I get a cozy, um, really sexy feeling with this fragrance. Chambre Noir is, to me, a phenomenal work of art from the house of Olfactive Studio. This is my favorite fragrance so far. I'm still, you know, trying to get my nose on Close Up, which is the latest release, and I can't wait to get my nose on that. The notes look very promising, but up to this day, this is definitely my favorite from the brand. At number five, Olfactive Studios Chambre Noir. At number four, do I really need to say it? This is Creed Aventus. This is a compliment monster, a crowd pleaser. It has a universal appeal. You guys know all about this fragrance. I don't need to talk much about it. So at number four, Creed Aventus, which I wear pretty much all year round, except for the really brisk, colder months of the year here in the East Coast, which is really late December, January, February, and early March. I don't really wear this. As soon as spring hits, this is one of my go-to guys at number four. Coming up are the top three. Now these three are the ones that I really wear a lot come early October, all the way until about you know, mid-December, right before it gets really, really cold out. These are the three that I really, really reach for in my rotation. From the great house of Chanel, this is Coral Mandel at number four. From the great perfumer, the great nose of Jacques Poge, to me this is really the sexiest elixir in this list. 
Uh, Coromandel is a mix of patchouli, uh, vanilla, white chocolate. It's just an amazing gourmand uh, oriental fragrance that's going to garner a lot of comments. The opposite sex will really love this juice. It's really a cozy fragrance, really great, very warm, very spicy, uh, really um, inviting and uh, compelling of the cooler months of the year. This is definitely a go-to as you see I wore a lot of this juice. Um, as soon as this bottle you know, gets closer to the end, I'm definitely gonna replenish. You know, Coromandel at number three is definitely one of my all-time favorites for the fall. And if you haven't tried, do try it, you're gonna love it. And number two from the House of Creed, this is Spice and Wood. If you guys follow my channel, you know how much I love this scent. Uh, I always feature this scent on my top, uh, you know, fall, actually my top fragrances period, you know, top work scent, top fall scents. Definitely a go-to guy at this time of the year. It's fall on the bottle to me. Beautiful note of cord over here. The sweetness is not overbearing. Um, amazing uh, abundance of spices and woods, obviously as the name implies. A great, great concoction, really well made. Um, compliments galore with this fragrance. It's elegant, sophisticated, it's well put together. What more can you ask for? At number two, Spice and Wood from the House of Creed. At number one, what do you guys think will be my number one fall niche scent of 2016? Well, just a quick hint. It also has plum in the notes, which I really love. Um, it's an oriental fougere, and it's from a house that is from Oman in the Middle East. By now you should know if you follow the channel. Let's go check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one for fall niche of 2016 is none other than Jubilation 25 from the house of Amouage. What a majestic and regal scent. This here is the quintessential um, epitome of a masterpiece. I love Jubilation 25. If you follow my channel, my taste, you know how much I love this. It also has plum in the notes. It has a slew of notes, but you get all these notes masterfully put together. The accords here are phenomenal. This one has honey, it has oud, it has resins, uh, patchouli. You know, it's just amazing, amazing fragrance to garner compliments and to smell Regal, this is definitely the way to go. If you're looking to get into an amouage, you know, I'd say between this and Reflection Mint are your two best options to smell great and get into the, uh, the amouage house. I really love the scent. You can't, I can't do fall without the scent. If you haven't tried, you're missing out. And number one for 2016 niche, Jubilation 25. So these were my top 10 niche picks for the fall of 2016. Let me know what you guys are rocking this time around. Please drop it down below. I'd love to read it uh, and see what's really popular among you guys. You know, let me know what your top three, top five, or your top 10 most desirable niche fragrances for the fall are this year. I'd love to see what you guys are rocking. So before I part, I wanna leave you guys with a quick message. If you don't know this by now, I do have a website. It's called maxforte.com. And I always try to give you guys the absolute best prices on designer and niche fragrances. And right now, I have a very special coupon for you guys for 10% additional uh, discount on the House of Creed. Uh, with the coupon code CREED10, you're gonna get an additional 10% at checkout at already amazing discounted prices. And by doing so, I'm going to be entering you guys automatically for two giveaways, for a $50 and $100 giveaway coupons to spend at whatever you want on the website. This is it guys, have a wonderful fall. Please stay tuned for a lot more. This was your host, Max Forte. Till next time, stay fragrant.